Good morning, everybody. It's Javier, and I'm super excited to be with you here this morning to share with you information that can help you dramatically increase your success and your income here at Power. And so I just want to thank everybody for taking the time uh, for being here. I know it's Memorial Day weekend and everything, but one of the things that I will tell you is I don't like to take my eye off the ball too often. It's amazing how quickly we can lose momentum. And so for whatever reason, you can't be here. That's fine because that's the whole purpose of being on YouTube. Uh, if you are watching the recording, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to make sure that you go ahead and uh, stay up to speed on all that is going on as well. Uh, you know, one of the things that I do want to emphasize the importance of being a product of the product in the world of uh, power. And so <clears throat> my recommendation is I'm about to start a campaign on June 1st for two main things. Uh, one of them is going to be to obviously uh, recruit people. And then the second one is going to be to help uh, uh, generate business, retail, if you would. I want to start with a screenshot of a video. I'm sorry, a webinar just completed. And so let me share the screen with you so you know what I'm talking about. You should either have your own story or you should have a story, somebody's story, as it relates to any audience you have. I don't have my phone. I don't know what the hell happened to it, but oh, here it is. But as you'll see in just one second. Okay, so I get, uh, you're not going to see it, but I have a bunch of text messages that I got right now from uh, something that I put out to my team, people that I know. And I just simply, uh, like I tell you, I don't know how people run teams, run businesses without a CRM. If you're a realtor, I mean, and you don't have lion's desk type of CRM, I don't know how you keep track of everything. If you don't have Salesforce, I don't know how you keep track of anything because the whole purpose of a CRM, which stands for client relationship management, is to manage the relationship as it relates to sales. I need to know how many people I spoke to this week to join Power. I need to know how many people I spoke to to become clients, how many of those opened the email, how many of those I actually met with, and what to expect. Uh, I'll show you in uh, another slide the information in a, in a greater sense. This coming Saturday, I'm going to do a class on a CRM. The reason most people don't have CRMs is because they think they're expensive. I think if you think a CRM is expensive, try running your business without a CRM. That is expensive. Uh, Salesforce is my favorite. Unfortunately, it starts at like 180 a month, so I do get it. However, I came across something that I purchased that I'm going to resell to you if you want to. Uh, it's called Top Sales. And it's a CRM, full CRM management. It inter, uh, integrates with SMS, uh, you know, uh, Twilio, stuff like that. And so if you are interested, I'm going to talk about it briefly next Saturday. It's only $49 for the rest of your lifetime. Not monthly, not yearly, just a one-time fee. <clears throat> and then after the uh, webinar, it goes up to $99 bucks lifetime as well. Uh, again, I also use HubSpot. That one's free. That one's just run by an independent company. And I'll show you a little bit uh, from that as well in just one second. But here's what I was sharing with people. I was sharing with them, which you should have a, literally a PowerPoint about your story. Look how long it takes for me to explain my story. And the reason that I'm sharing this with you is so you understand that it's very, very, very simple to do. Let me just show you this right now. I don't care if you're at church, if you're at work, anywhere. I'm hit the, uh, the stop clock, uh, stop watch. I'm hit start. And so, hey, look, listen, like most people, I got sick and tired of the solar bill continuing to go up. You can see my November, November bill at $341. The month before that was 418. Here's a snapshot of my electricity bills throughout the last 12 months, the highest being $768. I don't complain too much because it's my gas money because I have two electric cars, a pool. And so it is what it is. However, I got a free, no obligation proposal presented to me via Zoom. Uh, they showed me where the panels would go, what it would look like, how much power they would generate. And they even showed me the weather data for the last 30 years for my particular uh, location. And they were able to reduce it to $157 a month, not for 100%, but 121% of the electricity that I used in the last 12 months, which is a tremendous amount of savings that you can do the math yourself. I qualified for the federal tax credit on top of that, like most people, of course, do. My interest rate at the end was 1.49, which is near free money, especially where the rates are today. And there's the final product right there. New roof, new panels, unbelievable amount of value. Wife is happy. Even my granddaughter's happy, for God's sakes. And this is a, a screenshot of my electricity bill or my usage last year. As you can see, I averaged 44 kilowatts an hour. Now I'm averaging negative 21 kilowatts a day. I'm sorry, uh, this one was uh, 44 kilowatts a day, 
right here, I went from that to negative 21 kilowatts every single day on average, which is simply incredible. So if you're interested, do me a favor, scan the uh, QR code that's uh, in front of you right now, and I'll set you up with the free solar savings report as well. Now I'm gonna stop it. One minute and 43 seconds. We all have two minutes in our day that we can share that message with, even if it's sharing with just one person, your parents, your child, your siblings, if you're not at least doing that. Now, if you need to borrow someone else's story, but the point is you need to open your mouth a lot more so that you can get the value that I just shared with you. So that was part of my other presentation I just finished. Let me go ahead and close that PowerPoint and I'm gonna get right back to where we are going to discuss here, which is going to be that, which is all about selling and all about recruiting. So let me go ahead and put this bad boy on the screen and we're gonna get right into it. Uh, anyways, if you don't get the text alerts, do me a favor, whip out your smartphone right now and scan this flow code. It will go ahead and set you up to receive an automated reminder five minutes before the beginning of our webinar every single Saturday or alerts throughout the uh, rest of the week in case there's something you need to know. We, we usually only send one a week, five minutes before the webinar because everybody needs to, wants to be on the webinar, but most people forget. They're like, damn, I missed it, I missed it. Well, here, fix it. Go ahead and set it up. You'll get a text alert, reminds you to get on it, and that's all there is to it. Very, very simple. Uh, problem solved. First things first, I just want to remind everybody that next Saturday, June 4th, there's going to be a very important event, which we're all going to be at. So we will not be having our webinar here on a Saturday. We're going to be down at the Embassy Suites in Downey. Uh, and so this is a power day where it's taking place multiple cities across the United States at the same exact time. So that's pretty cool. And it's going to be this coming June the 4th. So there will be no webinar because we're all going to be here in Downey at the Embassy Suites. It's a free event. That's another thing that makes it really, really cool. You can come for a part of it, all of it, whatever you want. Just please don't uh, miss it. You're going to hear from a lot of the top people in the company, um, you know, mentors and everything in between. And so, again, you can choose what part of the day you participate in or the whole thing. Either way, it is free. If you go to a, this event here, just so you know, on a side note, you can purchase from uh, Embassy Suites. I think it's 20 bucks or $18 to have breakfast there. They have a breakfast bar uh, type of thing every morning for their guests. But if you're not staying at the hotel, you can just pay 20 bucks. And so what I'm getting at, you can just get there, have breakfast, blah, 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 and then walk literally right into, uh, you can go ahead and walk right into the actual uh, event. If you are interested in registering for this free event before it sells out, scan this flow code right now and uh, get yourself on the guest list. Again, the cost is free. There's no cost to attend the event. We will be there. I hope you are there as well. And make sure that, again, you are always empowering yourself to make sure that you're doing just that. So anyways, I fast forward this. I already showed you this part. I just wanted to emphasize it earlier. I'm done with that. Let's just get into this right here. Um, also, very important, as you guys know, back uh, in February, the CPUC, which is the California Public Utility Commission, they postponed the net metering 3.0 decision because of all the outcry from everybody, from clients to uh, you know installers to sellers of solar and everybody in. So they went ahead and they postponed it. They said indefinitely, which of course they're lying. And so lo and behold, they're back. Uh, they are reconsidering net metering 3.0 and they're just really testing the waters to see if they can push it through right now. It will have a tremendously negative effect on those that use solar, buy solar, sell solar, and anybody having anything to do with the actual solar movement. Red, anything you want to throw in this part? Yeah, there's a, uh, I'm going to put in the chat, there's a um, place to I go have if it. you want to go. Uh, I have it. Oh, you have it already. All right. Yes. Yeah. That's oh, but it. just over the event, the importance of the event. Oh, okay, no, I just think that, uh, I just think it would be a great idea to go down and, and uh, um, support uh the uh, action against this uh because this could definitely affect all of our business here in the next uh coming months if uh if it passes cool okay well here's what he was referring to there's going to be a don't text the sun rally that we're going to be making our way down to uh this is going to be june the 2nd at 10 30 a.m uh right across the street from city hall 
Grand Park, to be more precise, and it's being helped, being put together by a third party that does nothing but this. And so again, we just need to let them know that it, this is literally, it's like us being able to protest against interest rates rising. If we could do that, we would have done it. We don't have that ability, but here we do. So this is our livelihood. This has a lot to do with the environment and so on. And so my recommendation to you, if it matters as much to you as it does to me and Brad and everybody else here, then go ahead and do this. Now you can pick and choose, show from 1030 to 1130 and you go home, but they're going to have booths, food trucks, all kinds of other stuff. You don't have to be there all day, but it's just simply a matter of showing support for a cause that's near and dear to our heart. You can RSVP again. Uh, and once you do that, you're going to be registered for it. Uh, and it's free. The event is 100% free. And if you want to register or more details, scan the flow code right here. Again, the reason I put these flow codes, if you miss it, wait till the recording to uh, get posted on YouTube. Go there. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't ask me for links to anything ever once we hang up on the webinar because I'm just simply going to ignore you. Break out your phone right now or watch the recording on YouTube. Any questions about this event? All right, cool. Uh, lastly, before we get into it, I just want to emphasize the importance of today, Memorial Day. For those that don't know, Veterans Day is primarily for those that have served or are serving, if you would. Memorial Day is for those that have fallen defending this great nation of ours. And so if you don't mind, never, never, never forget this. Now, for me, Memorial Day also means uh, my uh, one-year anniversary a year ago, I was in the damn ICU. Uh, in the stroke section of the ICU. And so for me, uh, I'll never forget it for that reason. But for us, we should never forget it because this really does revolve around what it is that the price that some people pay without getting into politics, without getting into anything. There's a lot of people that carry on after uh, one of our soldiers goes down. And so don't ever forget why we celebrate, have a beer, have a hot dog, have whatever, but don't forget. And if you don't mind saying a quick prayer, somewhere along your, uh, your day, great. And if you don't believe in any of this stuff, well, it's because of these sacrifices that you get to not have to believe in this stuff. And that's pretty cool uh, either way. So just don't forget that. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you about today, a couple of things, but primarily is about what people have been asking me, and that is about building a team. And not just building a team, but how you do it, how you go about it, the psychology behind recruiting to anything, anywhere. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have a anecdote that I wanted to share. I know he's here uh, on the webinar right now, and that's George Munoz, George. Oh, he was. Oh, yeah, he's here. Uh, he called me yesterday. You, you want to mention what you asked me yesterday, George, if you don't mind, if you can. Okay, let me unmute myself. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I thought you were on strike. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll absolutely tell the story. I, I've been, uh, you know, again, I haven't been pushing the recruiting really hard with the, with the, uh, on power. I've been mostly introducing it to, you know, uh, people like yourself, Javier, and pe people I thought that could really use it without doing a big push. Anyways, I have an old, old friend. I'm talking back to high school. That's a loan broker and real estate agent. That I've been talking about this for six months and, you know, it's just like anything else with family, you know, he kind of brushed me off and, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. Get pushing it off, get telling him, hey, man, this will really help your business. Calls me yesterday and says, hey, uh, do you know this guy, Javier Rodriguez? I got an email about him, about the solar. Is that what you're doing? I said, yeah, that's exactly what I've been talking about for the last six months. So whatever the wording was, that finally caught his eye. And sometimes it's just about timing. Uh, I think right now he realizes or sees the writing on the wall, what's going on with the real estate industry and the mortgage industry right now. And finally just said, okay, yeah, let's, let's do this. So yeah, it's, whatever you're doing, Javier, it's powerful. I mean, it got him to uh, get him over the hump because if it can get somebody as familiar as an old friend like that, uh, imagine what it can do for somebody that probably doesn't even know you. If it, if it, if I can imagine it only intrigues everybody that comes along. So thank you to you, Javier, for doing that, uh, even though it was unintentional, but it, whatever you're doing, it, it works. Perfect. Perfect. And, you know, the, the whole essence on my side, I don't care if he joins under George, uh, who's my upline. And so I might not get the credit for it. Or if he, this person joins under another team that I definitely get nothing for it. I just want to help people. I really do just want to help people. And I feel very proud to be able to do that. And so understand that the message that power brings to anybody, but especially as it relates to realtors, loan officers and so on, 
it is resonating like never before. And if you and, and the reason that I'm putting so much emphasis on my June 1st campaign <clears throat> is even though we started already, I'm just going through it to see what works and what doesn't. But when it comes on to June 1st, it's on. And the reason that that's important, a lot, a lot of reasons, wait till November. You mark my words, wait till November, what we're going to be facing and what we're going to be in the middle. And I'm not going to get too much into it, but wait till November. You think people are starting to wake up right now as to what's coming? This is nothing. The airports are packed. The roads are packed. Uh, you know, Prices for air, airfare out of control, gasoline out of control. But yet people, guess what? They're still out there. They're still out there spending it, not caring, because primarily, first and foremost, primarily, because of the fact that there are a lot of people are leveraging credit cards. The first and second quarter of 2022 had the highest rise in credit card balance in households since 2007. So it's already going in that direction. What's in November? So anyway, so what I'm saying is there's no better time than right now to do what it is that we do. And primarily I'm talking about the opportunity. Now, here's what I sent his friend that made him click on the button, click on the link that went to the psychology of now him coming on board with George. And I'm glad that he's joining with George. Now, does not mean you can replace realtors, by the way, with police officers, with teachers, with educators, with doctors, with nurses? It doesn't matter. I like going after a certain market, a specific uh, group of people, if you would, because I can use one set of terminology, lingo, that will have a more tremendous impact. So when I talk to people and I'm telling them, look, listen, if you just simply sell two solar uh, installations a month, well, when I'm talking to realtors I always or loan officers, I always talk about, listen, if you have just two transactions a month, that they can relate to. Because I tell them, look, listen, 7,000 is not all the money in the world. You can make more than that in real estate, but realistically, does the average realtor close more than, let's just say, two transactions uh, a month? The answer is no. Does the average realtor average close one a month? The average, the, the answer is no. Here, you can close three, four, like it's nothing. So you do the math. Let's just say three transactions at 7,000 a pop. And then the reason that I always say you do the math, because if I'm telling you right now, listen, average commission 7,000. Let's just say you only close three transactions a month. You do the math. And when I say that, guess what people do? What do you think they do? Anybody? They do the math. They do the damn math. I mean, of course. And so if I'm telling you, listen, now, I'm not saying you do or you don't, but the average realtor does not even close one transaction consistently. But let's just say you just close three transactions, helping people save money especially going into a recession, especially with the inflation rate going up through the roof, if just three transactions at $7,000, you did the math. And if I really want to mess with them, then I just simply say, I mean, do the math. Three transactions at 7,000, that's about what? How much? That's what? $21,000. Make them say it. If I say it, it's not going to be reinforced the way that when they say it. And if you need the script, well, here's the script. Please don't call me and ask me for the script. Please don't ask me and call me to send me a copy of this. Okay. There's this thing called a smartphone you can break out and take a picture if you wanted to. I sent Rhett an image yesterday that I, I, I needed his input in regards to opening up the levels. But guess how I got it? I took a picture of it from a video. Amazing. And so during the week, don't reach out to me for anything, please. In, in regards to anything we give out on Saturdays, I, I'll just ignore you. I'll tell you that right now. Because you can ask all you want right now. And if you have a question, 95% of the people on this call probably have the same damn question. So do them a favor and go ahead and ask. And so again, as you can see here, because I'm not lying, we got hundreds of realtors and soon thousands of realtors, especially here. Now, the reason I say California is because I'm only sending these emails to realtors in California. If I'm Bob Ann's in Florida, I would replace that with Florida realtors and so on and so on and so on. And so remember, it's the terminology. What we do here is we help people slash their electric bills with zero down. That's what we help them do. We emphasize things like free. Uh, we emphasize things like, do you want to know more right now? Well, guess what? Go to solarforrealtors.us. Uh, I, I don't know if he ever made it. Uh, I forgot to see if he's here. Uh, we just, I wanted to welcome him publicly, but uh, let me see if he is here. If he's not here, a uh, brand new recruit we have from Vegas. Dan, are you here? Anyways, and so what I'm saying is I sent an email to this gentleman. He didn't register for the event. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know him, but he didn't register for it. He clicked on the button. He went to see the presentation, uh, Realtors, uh, solar for realtors.us. Then he clicked on the uh, 
schedule of Zoom with Javier link right below it. He did that. I met with him. He, we reviewed what he had seen. He said he still needed to do his homework, but more than likely he was going to join. And lo and behold, he joined. He's here. Now he's in Vegas. And my goal is to help him become successful and close those three transactions every single month. That's my goal with him. As long as he does his part and I do my part, there's no reason why he's not going to be able to do even more than that as well. So this is for those of you that are interested in building a team. If all you want to do is sell, then guess what? Sell. But don't sell. Don't tell me you want to sell and you're not selling. Because most of the time, why do you think most people that want to sell are not selling? Anybody, real quick, spit it out. Not prospecting. Not prospecting. That's all it is. Let me ask you a stupid question. What percentage of the people out there that own a home and have an electricity bill do you think would like to slash their bill with zero money down and zero out of pocket? What percentage? All of them. I mean, and that I would say 90% and that 10% is lying. My brother calls me up and says, hey, you know so-and-so? I haven't seen this guy in 20 years. Yeah, what's up with him? I'm trying to get him to go into solar, but I think he's bullshitting me. I'm going, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, he lives in uh, Palmdale, right? He, has, he lives in Palmdale. He has a pool. He has the uh, AC going the whole time. But, uh, you know, he's, I think he's just bullshitting me. I go, what, what do you mean? So he goes, can you call him? I go, For, I don't want to call him. He's bullshitting you. He's probably going to bullshit me. I, I don't get it. What do you want me to do? He said, well, please just call him. So he, ha- so I called him up and said, hey, look, listen, I don't know what my brother told you, but I just wanted to see. Yeah, he's talking about the solar, but I'm telling him, you know what, I'm, I'm very lucky. I have Edison and uh, Edison's probably the cheapest, you know, anywhere. And I'm like, well, I have Edison too. I don't, I don't know what Edison you have, but I go, so, so what's the point? He goes, well, he was telling me that I could reduce my bill, but, you know, I run, I, I, we use the AC here a lot. I go, I can only imagine. We're positive. Of course you use the AC, but, you know, I've never seen my bill go beyond probably 50 something dollars i'm like all right i go well you know what you must have a certain subdivision of edison that good for you keep it up bye he's like wait hold on nope i go bye i just hung up i mean done done because if he really does have it i wouldn't mess with it he's a palmdale with a pool uh two ac units running in the home the whole time and his bill is only 50 dollars now i'm with my brother i think he's bullshitting us but there are friends, family members that they just don't want to deal with you. Remember what I said, don't confuse, do not ever confuse courtesy uh, with interest. This guy's not interested. So bless your heart. We move on. And that's all there is to it. So going back to what I'm telling you, this is what I did. Now, I do several things. I love webinars because it's not the webinar. That, where do you think the money is? First of all, how many of you use what I what I mentioned last week? What tool did I tell you to use if you wanted to recruit? Anybody? Eventbrite. Eventbrite. Who used it? I did. I know because I saw it. Congratulations. Who else? Now, do you think we have people here that want to build a team but yet didn't use Eventbrite? Do you think there's some people like that? Yes or no? What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, why not? Why do, why do you think they didn't do it? Anybody? <clears throat> they don't know how it works. That's why I went to YouTube to start learning how it works. Okay, so then you're using it. You fall into the I'm learning category because I was about to say there is this thing called YouTube that will walk you through. Okay, so that's one. Next. That's a good reason, by the way. Good one. You're learning. But what else from other people? Anybody, it's not that hard. The answer is, it just doesn't mean that much to them. I, would, I wouldn't mind winning the California lottery, to be honest with you. I, I'd take it. I could use the money. But yet I didn't buy a ticket this week. I, have, I haven't bought a ticket in probably 10 years. Why? 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 Anyway, why? The odds are very little. I mean, I just don't see the value in it. My wife is like, yeah, but still, somebody's going to win. I go, yeah, but it's not going to be you. And so, therefore, I don't see the value. I just don't see the value. And for some people, it's like, man, man, that would be good if I was into it, but I'm not into it. So let me get back to my day. And so the point that I'm making is that you do understand that we are all talking here like grown men and women. You do understand that there is a crack in the economy, economy in, in the economy's hull. In the real estate industry, the mortgage industry, you do realize there's a big old crack in the hole, and it's below the water line. Do you agree with that or not? 
Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm not saying it's yes. a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just simply saying that I would not bank my mortgage payment on, well, let me wait for the next uh, couple loans to fund every month for the next year. I wouldn't do it. No, I could. I'm still open to it, but that's not where my efforts are. And so what I'm saying is that webinars are a great way. Now, I, for those that used Eventbrite, where's the money in Eventbrite? And I'll make it easier on you because obviously a lot of you are not using it. The money is in people registering for it because now I went from a very wide list of people that I emailed via Eventbrite. I show you how to do that. Can you imagine 6,000 emails a day is what you're allowed to send every single day through Eventbrite? Now, can you imagine telling me that, you, can you imagine you're trying to tell me you're a realtor, a serious realtor, or that you're a serious loan officer, and you're not, set, and, you're, and you are consciously passing up the opportunity to hit 6,000 people with your message as to why they need to buy a home, why they should refi with you, why you're their realtor, why they should list their home with you. You, you mean to tell me there's a good reason under God's earth that you are, bypassing the opportunity to deliver your message six times a day. I mean, and you do whatever it is you do. I'm recruiting life insurance agents right now, starting June 1st. And guess what? Now you might say, now, who do you send it to? Do you use your 6,000 for the loan officers or the 6,000 for these potential realtors to become solar agents or for your life insurance agents? I go, I don't know if you need this or not, but Gmail gives you email for free. Why not send 6,000 under one email address and another 6,000 under another account with another Gmail address? I mean, why not that? Why not have both? Three. The only question is, do you have to, do you want to make the time? Does it mean enough to you to do that? And so anyways, this is, I told you I was going to give you my report card this past week, because let me tell you, if you tell me that you're a realtor and you didn't pick up any new listings or buyers that you pre-qualified this past week, uh, you're not, you were not in business this week. Uh, dressing the part is not enough. Uh, not having a nine to five is not the part. I actually met a realtor. Uh, he's actually coming on board. He's one of the guys I'll meet with you. I'll show you right now uh, that, uh, well, I'm not going to get into because you'll know who he is, but I mean, what a great story. The people that are looking to make moves, make the moves. That's just the way it is. And I'm talking about moves that you can go ahead and quantify. What does quantify mean? Anybody? I hope you don't take this. I'm not that you can that, what is you, it? that you can that you can track things you that can you can track. track. You can measure, you can touch. Does that make sense? And so I hope nobody here takes it the wrong way. I'm not here bitching and complaining to anybody. I just like to be a coach in your success and not in accomplishing your failure. And so if my style rubs you the wrong way, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but I love helping people make money. I don't know about you, but I don't do broke well. And right now I'm very concerned that a lot of the income I was getting from other things, primarily in real estate and mortgages, is drying up. And for me to sit here and lie to you would be just that, a lie. And I'm not going to lie to you. And I don't do broke too well. I'm not going to replace that income with credit card or depleting my savings account or going to my uh, retirement account. No, I don't care what people think. I will pivot so fast that your head will spin. And I could not care less that you don't agree with it or you don't understand it because my responsibility first and foremost is to my family. So again, hold yourself accountable as a realtor, loan officer, as a whatever you might be doing as a solar agent. If you don't have results that are quantifiable this past week, you did not work it. Please at least call it what it is. So anyways, I did a couple of things. I did a, a realtor's cash in on the Lunch and Learn webinar of the P4 people that you see there that are registered. Uh, also, we did the How Realtors Can Cash In on the Solar Revolution Lunch and Learn at Top Golf on Thursday. We did another uh, Top Golf event on Wednesday. That one sold eight out of eight. The other one was eight, five out of 10. But the beauty is, I have all of the up to date information. Every single one of these people here said, I'm interested enough to raise their hand and register for the event. Whether they showed up or not means nothing, nothing. Everything that matters is that they raised your hand and volunteered themselves. And that's exactly what this is about. Now, if you want to recruit to power, let me start by asking you a few questions. Uh, first of all, why, let's just say, and again, this is for those that are looking to, first of all, why build a team? Anybody? 
Why would why would you why do you want to build a team of power? Anybody, please. Passive <laughs> passive income. Residual. That yes. could be. I mean, passive income. That could be. I'm not too too crazy about it in the sense that. Oh, well, I'll come back to that. But yeah, passive income is one which a lot of people, everybody likes. Of course, passive income is one. What else? To build mentees. What is it? To build mentees. Because the biggest, what is the biggest problem for realtors out there? What's the biggest problem for realtors? Anyone? Once they close a the deal, that's once it. they close a the deal, that's okay. it. So that one thing is a one-time okay. shot. So one thing is a one-time shot. And even then, I would take it. If you're closing, take it. If you're closing, take it. Or if you're closing, take it. Or not a background. Hold on. Hold on. But he's not a big speaker. Hold on. Big All right. Speaker. All right. All right. Hold on. Liberates right. others, people. All right. I think that fixed it. So anyways, and so what I'm getting at is that, and I'm not being negative, but I'm just saying that even if, okay, so I just closed one deal, bam, the money is gone. I got to go find another. That's fine. But the problem is most realtors are not even closing one a month. That's just the reality of it. Because the hardest part in real estate is what? What's the hardest part? Follow up. Okay, one. That, that Generating could be leads. What is it? Leads. Generating clients. Mm -hmm. I Follow mean, would anybody here be opposed to getting the name and number of three people looking to sell their home right now? Of course not. But how do I find clients? And in power, guess what the number one problem is? Finding clients. And so when you recruit, you are bringing with that person the actual money from mentoring them. And the best part is you can mentor people that you didn't even recruit. Um, I'll pick on one guy, um, Anthony, perfect example or Jordan, they've never recruited any of the people that I have on my team. I recruited them, but yet they benefited financially from that. And that's the way it should be. And so you have to know that. Now, if I am a cook, waiter, police officer, a realtor, loan officer, whatever, I'm looking, uh, if you're looking to recruit me, my question to you is why, why should I join power? Who has a power phrase about power? And don't ask me, Tell me, speak with conviction. Anybody who wants to go first? And we'll role play. You call me. Hello. Go ahead. Anybody? Real quick, guys. Anybody? Yeah. Okay, let, 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 let's shift to something else. I'm going to make the assumption. Nobody here wants to recruit, and that's fine. You don't have to recruit. I thank you for being here, and I thank you for being part of power, part of my team. Forget recruiting. We're done with recruiting. Let's switch to selling, because if you're not looking to recruit and you're not looking to sell, this is not for you. Just get out, because $49 a month, I'd rather spend it on beer uh, before I just throw it out the window. So now everybody better open up their mouths when it comes to uh, I am an old client of yours. Whatever the hell you sell, life insurance, uh, real estate, mortgage, I don't care. I'm a no client. You're prospecting like you should. I answer the phone. Ring. Hello. Hey, Javier. It's Rhett. How are you? Rhett. Okay. Now you're Rhett. Now I got you. a question. I got a question for you. Go ahead. Hey, um, how much money are you spending on your electric bill? Every All right. Month? Okay. Time out, Rhett. Uh, I'm going to end up buying from you, right? No, I don't want to do that. Okay. All right. Somebody else. Ring. I mean, ring. Hello, Pierre. Yes. Hey, this is Keith. How you doing, sir? How are you? Good, good, good. Long time no speak, Keith. How are you? Yeah, I was just wondering how your new house is doing that we helped you get a while ago. Is everything working out for you? Yes, everything's good. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, have you been getting your first electric bills over there at your new place? Yes. Yes, I, yes, I have. I, one thing that me and my wife were considering is we, we, we looked into solar and, um, you know, I added um saving some money on my bill and basically uh i have some professionals in the industry if you're interested we just do like a zoom meeting it might be for you it might not be but something that you could take a look at and maybe you could uh, slash your electric bill what what are you currently paying right now uh, about 250 a month 250 okay yes. well it's something that could what what me and my family has done we um we locked in our bill at a certain price and we're just going to move forward to it. So if something that interests you, you know, let me know and we Perfect. can something up. Perfect. Thank you, Keith, for the call. I'll definitely do that. Thank you. 
Okay, bye. Great job. Congratulations. Yes, I need to get a sound effect for uh, cheering. Thank you very much, Keith. Uh, okay, someone else. Ring. Hello. I promise you, I will never, ever make fun of anybody. I, you know me. I, I want to help you get better at whatever you're doing. I, I believe there's always room for improvement for me, for you, for everybody. But my God, you know, you, you, you guys kind of kind of see a problem. I mean, honestly, yes or no? Because I guarantee you, if I ask you, do me a favor, unmute yourself and tell me your first name. I want to know how long it takes for somebody to do that. Just unmute yourself. First name and your stuff. Bob. Bob. Hey, Bob. Keith. Hey, hello. Who else? Angelica. Angelica, welcome. Okay, thank you. Anybody else there? Your first name. And be yourself. Vanessa. Vanessa, thank you. I mean, Ray. Welcome, welcome. I mean, but you see what I'm you see what I'm getting at. I just we don't how many people honestly are going to tell me that you had to reach for your wallet to get your driver's license out or go and look for your birth certificate to say, what the hell is my first? I mean, of course, nobody did. And so what I'm saying is, what does this show us primarily? What does this show us? What does it show us? Anybody? Come on, just in general. It's just us, guys. Come on. But we are afraid to talk to people. Okay. The, first of all, if that is truly the case, we have to work on ourselves. We have to get out of the business because... Like the guy told me one time, I'm just not a people person. And I told him, okay, well, then you need to get out of the business. I mean, there's no way around it. Nobody's going to keep you their business. So, And it's not that. It's, uh, it, it, what, where does fear come from, primarily? For those that do, and very few of you can claim fear. It's not fear. Um, Are you shy or unprepared? Uh, no, not really. I mean, but for some it is, but but, but even that. Or, or unprepared. We're not prepared. So don't. Rejection. Go, don't Rejection. Go. Rejection. Rejection. Let me tell you about rejection. How, how many, and, and that is a fear internally, but what I'm trying to do is dispel it. What do you think are the chances, like I told you earlier, of somebody rejecting, I don't want to say 50% off my electric bill. It's killing me. Not that many people. The number one reason, the number, and this is where we have to take ownership, okay? We got, this is where we put on our big boy and big girl pants, and we have to take ownership. We have to take responsibility for our lack of preparedness. Now, Going back to Keith, great job because he spoke. That's the victory. For some of you, you haven't even asked. Now, we're talking about somebody you know. What are the chances of somebody saying, oh, hello, hey, Javier's Keith. Keith, leave me the hell alone. What the hell's wrong with you? You ask. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen. There's no, no matter how, worst, worst case scenario, I'll blow smoke and say that I'm interested and I'll never call him back. But never would I be rude. Nobody's going to do that. You know that. But yet we're not prepared and we don't see the value we bring to people. He did a great job. And so what I'm getting at is that how can we be at this point in our business? And please don't try to claim that you're a realtor or a loan officer or a, or a life insurance agent or whatever. And Because your production in one place will reflect your production in the other. Your recruiting in one industry will reflect your recruiting in the other. And so what I'm getting at is that those that get prepared in one sense they get prepared for the other one. Uh, I got prepared for as a loan officer. I got prepared as a realtor. I got prepared as a, a solar uh, pro now. It, and either that or I don't. And so that's why I wanted you to understand that you it's so simple. I have never been part of anything that is so simple if we can keep ourselves out of it and our preconceived notions and our want to be fears because there's no fears involved. Now, if I'm calling you to see life insurance, for God's sakes, I don't know if you're sicky. I don't know if you're dying. I don't know if you're on meds. I don't know if you have life insurance. I don't know if you're tall and fat or skinny. I don't know any. So that is a lot of fears, a lot of moving parts. But if somebody owns a home and they have an electricity bill and I ask them a stupid question, would you be interested in maybe reducing your electricity bill permanently? I mean, for most people, they're just basic cancer, probably going to be either yes or maybe. Depends. What's the, what's the, and I'm not going to uh, critique uh, Keith. He did a marvelous job. One thing would have made it even perfect. Just one thing he could have said to make it perfect. What was that one thing? Just one thing, one thing. Cut one your thing. bill in half. Okay, part of it, he kind of covers sl slashing. That's good. One thing. I want to think creating some kind of emotion about the recent uh, rising cost. For electricity. Okay, but, but but even forget forget all that. One thing, one thing that he could have done. One thing. Because I said he did a great job. What is it? Better an appointment. 
okay, throw the appointment out there, but even one thing in regard that's the closing and, part, which yeah, could have been better. There's one thing. The the electric bill. Okay, okay, they're all really good. The answer was because remember, he did a great job. I, mean, I would rather see him doing that. That maybe he didn't tie it down and say, look, listen, well, what works best for you, Thursday or Friday? Well, no, Friday's I'm partying, so Thursday for sure. Like around four or five? No, like around five, Keith. Okay, we'll just shoot for a, uh, Thursday at five. Anything happens, let me know. We'll cancel it. I mean, I'd rather have him do that where he leaves the door wide open. But one thing, and this is what we call power phrase. One of the top power phrases, top power phrases in uh, our industry what do you see here that sticks out the most? I'll give you a hint. It's, no money it's, down. Thank you. Yep. No money down. Yep. <laughs> and the best part, Keith, everything was done with literally not only no money down, but nothing out of pocket. And nothing out of pocket, I'm saying that I needed a new panel, which everybody else wanted to charge me twenty five to 3500 cash. Nothing out of pocket for that either. I mean, if you notice the headline, the event is not how realtors cash in on becoming a solar consultant. The revolution that we are referring to is not a solar revolution. It's a what? No money down solar. That's a big deal. A huge deal. Because it's catchy. It's true. It's a hook. Now, if somebody says, I don't think I would like to be in, I'm not interested in a zero down solar system that could slash my payment. Well, bless your heart, sir, and go on to the next one. I've never had that happen. But what I'm saying is you're going to have to learn to do that. So let's just continue uh, right now. Now, if you are going to look to recruit or produce, you might want to know how many ways there are to make money. And there are a lot of ways, but the standard answer is how many ways are there to make money per the presentation, standard one. Okay, if you don't know it, you don't know it. And so I'm not even going to get into it because I'm not going to cover some of them because there are more ways. But what I do want to emphasize to you that if you're here, because sometimes people say, look, I'm not into this recruiting thing. Well, then produce. Are you into producing? Because if you are into producing, well, then make it happen. Make it happen. And so here's what we're going to talk about today. We're talking about the cost of goods plan or sales. Who can tell me outside of rent? What, what is... The COGS plan. What is that? How much money you make over and above all the costs. Okay. Uh, the margin, you can call it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And how does that work? Anybody outside of Bob, not somebody else. How does the COGS work? Anybody? Come, come on, guys. We have, This is you. Not what I mean. I'm going to talk about recruiting the other people. I'm talking about you. Don't tell me you don't know how the hell you can make money. That's where you're not making money. I think I think yeah, they put uh, um, a percentage certain percentage above the cost of goods. They add a certain percentage to it. Okay. Okay. Uh, anybody else, please? How does it work? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, I mean, you see what I'm getting at? It's amazing in anything I do. I'll give you an example. I was talking. I mean, anything I do, I, I need to know how it works. Just so you know. And the best way I find out how it works is by becoming a product of the product. I have solar on my on my roof, like I showed you. Uh, and you doesn't mean you, you have to, if you already have solar, tear it down and get a new one. I'm not saying that. I'm saying go back and look at the, how yours works. But here you need to understand. Anybody else? Cost of goods plan. Yeah, it's basically wholesale uh, pricing. And um, so, um, you know, you, you um, close... Explain it to me. Yeah, I mean, you're on the right track, but explain it to me. I'm new. I'm, I'm looking to join your company. What do you mean? Well, it's all taken care of for you as far as um, uh, the platform is concerned. Uh, that's what but I want to know about your, your, your COGS plan that I saw online or whatever. Well, this is what drives does the it really, Does it really matter? I mean, the, the of course bottom it matters. line is, is that we're talking about. Okay, well, about let me ask you a question. How does your COGS plan compare to working for Solar City or working for NextGen? I mean, I'm not going to get that complicated, but of course it matters. Well, okay. No, do you know? If you don't know, you don't know. I'm not trying to you know, make a deal out of it. It matters or not. If it didn't matter, probably would have be here. But I mean, either you know or you don't know. And if you don't know, you don't know. It's not at the end of the world. We're here to learn. But yes, it does matter. Are you, are you, okay, so I, I, I'm just not. I'm, okay, so are we talking about the elements of the platform or I, I don't understand. Cogs. What's Cogs? The cost of the cost of uh, the cost of um, of um, 
actually Good. executing ex executing the uh, 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 a uh, contract. So um, how is it different? Um, I don't. Well, how does it work? I don't know what the other guys do. I, I have no no clue. Okay, how, how does yours work? How does it work with solar with power? Uh, I have a question. Are we talking from a recruiting point of view, so we can? There's show... only one view. Either way, however you want to talk. You right now, you are you yourself, right? You are governed by the Cox uh, platform. How it works, the plan, you. So that's how, that's how you get paid. Okay. So if I was explaining this to someone, I would tell them um, that the cost of goods, um, the residual out of the cost of goods becomes uh, our, gosh, I forgot the word, but our earnings, and we split it with the company on a 70-30%. Oh, oh. Okay. Now, here, what I'm going to do, let me do this, because I want to make sure. Now, if you guys remember, here, let me just do this real quick. I gave you all, and I mean all of you, here, here I gave all of you this link, and this link is to uh, compensation overview with JC, this is power basically, JC. And so I think that like, for instance, here's how you make money. And so there's only one answer to everything guys. So when we try to kind of reach for this and that, and maybe here, there, that, no, that's not the way it should be. We need to know exactly how it works. And this will give you the cog in this example. So if I was to tell you, look, listen, this, the cost of goods is basically what the system in itself will be wholesale price. And then we come in and add a margin. Then you add the two, which gives us a gross commission of which 70% will go to the seller. And then the 30% will go to power. Very simple. Only one way to explain it, the right way. And I gave this to everybody. And so as you can see, obviously, not, you know, we, have, we haven't uh, reviewed it. So what I'm going to do again for the second time, give this to everybody. And I'm going to go now, if you don't watch it now, but become a student of the student. The last thing you want to do is come on board and not be able to explain some of the most basic fundamentals of the business. And so, again, if I'm going to be a real estate uh, agent, I need to know how it works. Well, we're going to have to have a, a, a listing from that commission is going to come in. We're going to split it 50 50 with or whatever the uh, split might be with the listing agent, with the buyer's agent. Then from there, it technically gets paid to the broker. And then from the broker, of course, you get your 80% split from that. So, no, you're not going to get 80% of the 6% when there's two different brokerages involved. And so that's just the way it works. And it's the same thing here because that leads us into the mentoring plan. The mentoring plan is just like when you have two agents, you're gonna split it with the mentor. So the beauty about power is that if you want to, you don't wanna recruit, you don't have to recruit, but you can still benefit from recruiting that other people are doing. And so again, once you set yourself up as a good mentor, people will come to you. I gave you an example of Anthony Bonilla. He's benefited tremendously from all the people that I've recruited and you've recruited and so on. And again, there's nothing wrong with that because in a matter of just weeks, a lot of us are going to be the mentor and we're going to be able to benefit from that plan as well. And so whether it's recruiting or whether it's you. Now, let me ask you a stupid question. Would you rather sell one uh, solar deal a month or four? Anybody? I'll take the four. I mean, and the best way to, to do... Red, how many have you done so far this month? I'm... I'm we're on the 28th. What have you done so far this month? This month, it's either five or six. Okay. And so what I'm getting and what I'm getting at is that as a mentor, whether you're red, it's not looking to build a team, but guess what? The mentoring plan will solve the number one problem he's going to have in power, which is how do I find clients? Now, yeah, it will be a 50% less because somebody else brought it to the table, but I look at it as a 50% more because he never would have had it. And so you need to, you need to explain this to yourself first and foremost, so that you understand it. So what role do you play? Well, you're a mentee right now. If you're a mentee, you can't get mentored on deals you haven't found yet. So learn how to market. Uh, we also have the rev share plan that I'm not going to get into because I don't want to confuse anybody. But the rev share is very important because now, as you'll see in that video, you're going to be uh, sharing in the production. Now, you have to have certain levels open, which that video will go ahead and show you. And then, of course, lastly is the ownership plan as well. So you need to understand these things because again, if you were to ask me just from what kind of feeling I get just from this particular webinar, number one, we need to start, and I say start, not perfect or not improve our skills. We need to start because we haven't even started. 
as it relates to some of the elements that are going to be very crucial towards your success. So we need to go ahead and do that to make sure that, again, uh, in no way, shape, or form is this going to hinder your success. We need to be able to spit everything out the same way you spit out your first name so that it becomes second nature. We've never had more people on our team making money than right now, but it's nothing compared to what's coming, but it's no fun. I emphasize no fun if it's not happening to you. You don't want to repeat mistakes from previous companies, previous opportunities that we fail to take ownership in because otherwise it becomes a fulfilling prophecy where we just simply let our old versions of ourselves cost us success and income as well. Uh, this is a, uh, just a picture from the event that we held this past week, one of the events. And what they all have in common, they're all coming on board either as... So here's one thing I will tell you, and I'll give you right now as well. Always, never, ever, ever leave somebody, like going back to what Keith was saying, if I would have just told him two things. Number one, uh, mention the fact and lead and close with the fact that no money down. That's a big, big deal. And number two, never, ever, ever, ever let somebody walk away without you at least getting a good sense of where they stand. What do you think is the best way to find out where they stand. Anybody. These are right here on, the on your left, my right. Those are three, my three guests that event. Um, Anthony, I don't, think, I don't think he's on. He's at a, a different event. Are you on, Anthony? I don't think he's on. But anyways, I'm saying this because he had to go take a call. And he, at the end of the event, when everybody left, he's like, hey, man, all these guys, they're all realtors. He's like, man, they're all sharp. They're all really cool. How long have you known them? And my answer was, I, I don't. I know them as long as you do. And he's like, man, they were they were all over you, like they, like they were your friends. I go, well, there's a whole psychology involved there, including what you see here. Come here, stand next to me. Let me hug them. I mean, there's a whole psychology, and they're all coming on board one degree or another. But it could be awkward. It could be a little awkward that if you're holding a live event, let's just say, we'll make it super easy. How do I know where they stand? So what do you think is the best way to always know? Because there's nothing more frustrating. And somebody says, oh, yeah, I got three people coming on board, man. They're pumped up. They're, they... And I ask, so how do you know that? How do you think it's the best way to find out where a potential recruit or even a potential client? I want to know where they stand. How do you do that? Simply ask them. Ask them. And what we want to do as much as we possibly can is, yes, we want to get an answer from them. But we also want to do what? We want to document it. Why? Why do you think it's very important to do that? So let's just say Keith called me up and in that same conversation, he said, hey, Thursday or Friday? Well, Friday I party, so no, Thursday, 4 or 5 p.m. Uh, let's just call it 6 by the time I get home, Keith. Okay, so Thursday, 6 p.m., I'll send you the link to the webinar. I'm putting it on my calendar right now, and I look forward to speaking to you then. Now, why was that so important? What did that do? In case you don't know, Massey, or maybe you do know, why? Follow up. Follow up is one, very important to have the information, but what's another one? Well, psychologically, they feel compelled to Thank keep you. that appointment. Yeah. Thank you. Commit commitment. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you the psychological element behind it is more important than how the hell you feel. Nobody cares how you feel, and it doesn't matter how you feel. I just told you. Here we go. Uh, let me go back over here. This is the event on, thir on, on Thursday. Five uh, people registered. Of the five, three now, where the hell happened to the others? Well, it's called life. It's a numbers game. And that's why when people say, I got three people. No. And so the way I do it is very simple. I just go ahead and ask them. Now, I don't just ask them. I hand out a form. I gave them all of them, this form that I've used for 20 years. And I just simply said, I gave them the form and I told them specifically, do not, do not, do not fill up the top info. Just your first name. None of that info that it asks you for. Just your first name and check off one of the boxes. Here's one, here's two, here's three. Now, the irony behind it is that they all, it was really windy, we're at Top Golf. So I, as soon as they handed them to me, I put them in my bag, we sat down, chit-chatted, and then I said, wait, let me check my uh, forms. I open up my bag, I take out the forms, all three of them have all the information that I didn't want, because I already have it, but none of them checked any of the boxes. So what, what do you do when, when that happens? Anybody? You hand it back to them. You give it back it out. and say, hey, I actually cleaned up the form because there are people that sometimes are very touchy. Um, and so what I cleaned up is 
It says, I'm ready to get signed up with power and get started. I'm interested in getting sold from my home. And then before you say, I'm not interested in anything. Leave me the hell alone. And then I had to get rid of the leave me the hell alone because that's how I feel. And so I told him, I gave it back. Say, hey, do me a favor. Go ahead and check off one of the boxes. Even if it's number three, leave me the hell alone. And they all laugh. And, you know, this guy is coming on board. Super. They're all realtors. Um, this guy's getting it for his home already. Uh, this guy is getting, uh, I'll, I'll tell you a story. He's a real estate agent, but he wants to get some uh, people recruited first. Whatever. I told him I'll recruit him for you. Um, and then this one right here, not interested in coming on board, but he says, I really do need it. But I have Spanish tiles. I go, look, listen, talk, come out. We'll cover all that during your proposal. Um, and so anyways, that's it. Uh, I, before I go any further into this, any questions about anything having to do with recruiting, complex, anything at all, anything you want to throw in there. Now, again, if you don't want to build a team, bless your heart. You don't have to. That's the beauty of it. But if you do want to produce, at least become a consultant so you can solve the number one challenge you're going to face. The number one problem you're facing right now is because of you. I just want to emphasize right now that if you're not producing, you're not making the money that you want to make right now, no, you can't claim that it's the industry or the business. that Right now, in the beginning, it's you. So take ownership of that and say, what am I doing wrong or what, what am I not doing to fix that? Once you fix that and you knock out your training cells, then at some point, yeah, your warm market could dry up a little bit. And that's where the uh, training cells from you as a mentor come in. And so that's why we want to get you to become a mentor as soon as possible. But right now, no. Don't go beyond yourself. Understand that your biggest problem is that you're just simply, in most cases, now I'm not saying this for everybody, so don't get all butthurt on me. Uh, for most people, no, it's just that you're not even ready. You're not even ready to take this seriously yet. And so therefore, take advantage of the coming weekend and the week. But by next week, when we have that, at least, at least you can open your mouth and stumble through something. Keith did a great job. I mean, that should have been everybody, every single person. So if you didn't speak up, no, not rejection. No, it's not fear. Because if you're afraid of a sterile environment like the one we are here right now, imagine now in the real big, bad world. And so therefore, you're never going to do anything. You're going to go broke. You're going to get uh, you're tired of paying 60 or 50 bucks a month for nothing. And you're gone. Don't let that happen unnecessarily. Take ownership of your business. Know that, hey, this can be fixed. This can be changed. I just need to be ready for that change to take place at all. Questions, comments, concerns from anybody. Javier, um, you, you you had your, your thing over at the golf. What did what did you do? You show a PowerPoint? Did you show it on your iPad? Uh, you just oh, great question. I, I actually have I don't have it here. Yes, that's a that's a great question. And so to make a long story longer, here let me just fire this up so you can kind of see it. I think he sent it to me, and this is from Anthony. That's why I was hoping he would be on it. But uh, if not, let me just see if I have this one right here. Here. Okay, I have it here. So let me just show you this right here. I mean, it's not the best picture, to be honest with you, Ron, but I just want to answer your question with some of the facts. And so what I was able to do, let me see where the hell did it go. Oh, here it is. So it should pop up in just one second. Bear with me. And so literally, so what I did, oh, he did send the video. Who wants to go first? And so, and so what I did, I just stood in the front. As you can see me standing, my laptop is closed because I close it. When I'm done talking, I bring it down because I want to speak to them and I don't want them to be distracted. And so what I did is I told them, meet me at 12. We got there at, uh, right at 12. Um, we got there, right, well, I got there before, of course, uh, beforehand. And so what we did is we went ahead and said, hey, nobody's ordering food yet. We're going to go ahead and get through the business part first. And then after, if you want to learn more and get started, then we'll go ahead and order some food and uh, or get you on your way if you're not interested type of thing to make sure I don't want to sit here and buy meals for people that are not interested. So what I did, I went ahead and uh, and literally took around 15 minutes. It was supposed to be 10, but the only reason we went 15 is because they all had real estate related questions about uh, liens and property taxes. But it was 10 minutes. It was say, hey, as you guys know, the industry is changing. And the beauty about it is that the time couldn't be better for us. If you want to diversify where you get your business from, I never speak negatively uh, in a negative fashion about anything like the market. No, it's just changing. It's cyclical. And a lot of realtors wouldn't mind making up some of the money that may not be making because of those changes or in some cases using the money from solar to further your real estate career. And so I went ahead and did that. I showed them uh, the slides. You've closed three deals, two deals, even if you close just one deal. It's seven thousand. Still, do the math. Seven thousand. Of course, seven thousand. That's eighty-four thousand for the year. How far can your real estate business go with that kind of a budget? 
And so I ended up closing the laptop. I said, look, at this point, I just want, don't want to take more of your time. In case you have to go, you got to go. All I ask is that you fill out this form. Just put your first name. I don't care about your contact info. I have it. First name and check off one of those box, three boxes that you see below you. And depending on what you check off, uh, we can take it. Now, if you know you're going to come on board, stay afterwards right now. We're going to start hitting some balls right now. We're going to go ahead and order some food. But if you got to go or if you already know this is not for you, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And hopefully we run into each other again soon. I closed it, passed out the forms, collected them. Like I said, it was really windy. So I didn't get a chance to see them. I looked at them again. Oh, here, here's your form back. Check off one of the box, even if it means leave me the hell alone. That's okay. I promise you, I will leave you alone. But I need to know where you stand right now. And they all checked off what you saw. They checked off. We're off to the races. And uh, the beginning of a beautiful relationship with people that are rich of prospects that are looking to supplement their income with power as well. Any other question, please? Questions, comments, concerns, anything at all? Yeah, I hope you guys Go ahead. Thanks for, thanks for challenging us. The which really one? Neat. I said thanks for challenging us. I yeah, was, don't ever take things the wrong way. Please, anybody that knows me knows me that I only know how to be myself. And I know what keeps us behind, what holds us back. I know what costs us millions of dollars in income. It's us. And I'm just simply saying that it's not that I'm picking any one person. It's just that if I would say if the shoe fits, wear it. Well, this is a universal fit shoe. And so it's so many of us, starting with myself. Everything I've ever said here that's maybe not the best applies to first, first of all to me. Because I can do a much better job of anything. But whether it be Eventbrite, imagine you hitting up 6,000. Remember, what was it, uh, a year ago? I know Stephen has it. Stephen bought the list. We gave you 1.2 million realtors' names, emails, cell phone numbers. Unbelievable. I just simply, what I did to increase the chances of them showing up, I only zeroed in on cities around Ontario, Upland, Rancho, uh, Chino, Chino Hills, and so on. And that's how I, okay. And we gave everybody that same opportunity. Now, it's just that a lot of the times we see something say, yeah, I might have missed it, but show me now. That's not how life works. Uh, and so that's not the way we're going to work. And so that's why I'm saying it's important for you to apply what you learned this week, this week to make sure you have a more productive week. And I really want to see all of you win. You deserve it. But I'm telling you right now, I, I don't apologize because I don't disrespect anybody. But at the same time, I can't stand uh, being an accomplice in people's uh, excuses and failures because we can change it on a dime. We can change it just like that. If we take ownership of our success or our lack of success, we can turn it around, especially with the tools that I'm providing for you as well. Last question, comments, concerns. Hey, hey Javier, what is our YouTube channel for the solar? Uh, what is it? I don't even know. Uh, solar on YouTube. Uh, what is it? Power on YouTube.com, I think. Power on YouTube.com. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll have to email it. I don't have it handy. I, I have it. Okay. Okay. Power, right. Crusa Power Crusaders, isn't it? No, no, that's the difference. So, that's the difference. All right, I'll get it to you, everybody, and I'll email it. All right? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, guys, it. let's go out there and make this the most productive week in the history of our business. The stock for what we do continues to go up on a daily basis, not just a matter of us going out there and leveraging it to the max. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great weekend. And again, happy Memorial Day. And don't forget to say a prayer for those fallen heroes. Thank you.